Hey, 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 this is terrible. That's probably going to be my, my new um, gesture. Well, we're at it again, folks. I am uh, running out of durability on my uh, equipment, my armor. I'm probably going to have to uh, use a soul item if I don't get this done quick. But I'm pretty sure I can block that initial... I mean, it is a catalyst. It's not a, an actual weapon of sorts. But we're going to try this again. We're going to try to defeat the Fire Sage so we can move further along. And then from there we'll be able to rest at a bonfire, I believe. And then from there we'll have to fight another boss, which is going to give us a ring. Which is going to let us get deeper into the Lost Islet. And uh, back in 1903 there was no Lost Islet. So we are... Actually I wanted to mention, because I, for, I forgot to talk about this um, when when you um, when the the witch the daughter of uh, Chaosura when she doesn't get killed for some reason in the great swamp she'll actually talk to you about the witch of Islith and, and all that shit so, um, she'll give you kind of a mission, and then when you, when you defeat the witch after talking to her about it, she'll then give you the, the Fire Tempest Pyro that I have right now. But, you're not supposed, if you kill her, then, you know, you're gonna get it anyway, but, I tend not to kill a, um, an ancient woman of any kind, so much less a, a witch that helped bring about the peace you know i i was reading up on um on demon souls and dark souls and shit and apparently this is actually what the hell is it called it's called king something or other it was a series of games that was made that these games have been derived from and uh, i forgot the name of it. it had something to do with king something or other and i guess the whole idea see because basically the whole idea behind these games is that there's a land of undead who's who you know rises kingdoms or raises kingdoms from the ashes of the civilization before hi sweetheart so it's actually um it's like, you know, so this land, Lordran, was built on the ashes of the dragons that had in, had taken over. And, you know, in Dark Souls 2, as you'll see, there's another... It, they're all, it's all pretty much... It's all the same land, is what it is. It's just different variations of it. Different kingdoms built on the, on the bones and the ashes of it. But um, Dark Souls 2 is really pissing me off. It's starting to get, like... Um, it's starting to get like that other game, Lords of the Fucking, which I hated. It's getting like that where there are all these stupid ass deaths and these these overwhelming. I mean, I'm fighting the first boss, the first boss of the first downloadable content. The first boss. I mean, you're talking. I've spent like three days just get just trying to get through this DLC, and I finally got to the first boss, and that boss is bullshit. The, sh the bitch has got, like, an endless fucking array of health points. And on top of that, she conjures up skeletons. Red skeleton! And she conjures up, like, one of the bosses that I just fought. Like, basically, the DLC was made for levels, like, 200 or whatever. It's a joke. And since I keep losing my souls, I'm not going to be able to get to level 200 or whatever. Oh, don't you love when they just can't hit you? Ah. No, it's even worse when they when you can't hit them. Oh, big swing, pal. Too bad you can't hit me twice. How am I doing with durability? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm doing all right. I gotta get my souls though. Oh, I keep forgetting the staircase. So yeah, so I'm stuck at the 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 DLC. Now, if I finish this before I finish the first playthrough of Dark Souls 2 for myself, and, and like, I just gotta go through the DLC, and then the, uh, the Giant's Memories, and then I can fight the last two bosses. 
or last four, whatever. I mean, I've got a ways to go, especially considering how long it's taking me to get through this. But even if I finish Dark Souls 1 before I finish Dark Souls 2, I'm still playing through Dark Souls 2 right away. And I, I have my build ready. I mean, I learned my lesson of what not to do in terms of a build. You can't, like, have a strength-only build in this game. Like, they give you the opportunity to get to a ridiculously high level. So, it's like, you know, like, you, you'll you be leveling up to, like, level 120 before you get to 30,000 souls to level up once. Unlike this game where it's like, it takes 30,000 souls to get to level 70. Alright, big boy. You know you want to jump at me. You know you want... Okay, maybe not. Take that big swing. Yeah. Oops. Take that big swing, big boy. Now, two shots are not going to kill him, so... Now they will. There we go. Alright. I am packing up the souls here. That's one thing about this area, is you're going to be packing up the souls if you die. But like I said, I think I can block that first, that lunge. The best chance I had at beating this thing was when I was able to avoid, not deal with the lunge. Whoop, get out of the way. There we go. Okay, here we go again. First thing I gotta do is I gotta get my souls back. Very important. And then we're gonna go through this again. Okay, my souls are right there, which is good. I can block it. Okay, you're dead, fat boy. Ah ha ha. Oh boy. Yeah, don't get beneath that like I did last time. Slash him in the leg. Come on, do it. There we go. Oh. Oh, stop yourself. Shit, get away. All right, let's get at that leg. Come on. Damn it. Don't die. Don't die. Don't. Thank you. Thanks. I need that. <laughs> All right, come on. All right. Thanks, fat ass. All right. Stop flying. Oh, come here. Oh, shit. Don't tell me I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, God. Oh, look at that, man. I... Oh. Right, this is the last one. I'm telling you. I, this, is, this is definitely the last one. I'm like, it's so desperately trying to get close to the enemy. I'm not using my brain. That's all right. This is the last one. What is that? Like five or ten? I mean, I'll be the first to admit this is definitely the worst. I mean, this is worse than the first time I got through this game. Trust me. This is the absolute worst play through. Wow. That was bad. Too bad I don't have that silver cat ring. I got to take it easy with the Estus because I, don't, I can't. I'm not kindling this bonfire I mean I don't really I shouldn't really need too much Estus flask usage uses uses oh you missed oh come on man fuck you oh, Jesus no you've got to be fucking joking me Oh, I want to kill myself. I really do. <laughs> I really want to kill myself. Why do I always do shit like that? Why? Why do I always allow some fucking scrub enemy to fucking kill me on stupid shit 
instead of just fucking use my fucking shield and block. So much for building up my soul count and making up for the 30, 140,000 I lost. Always. That always fucking happens to me in this fucking game. Always. I'll always face some fucking nothing enemy like a fucking Capra demon that somehow just decides when I'm really trying to get my 80,000 souls back that I could just fucking lose my 80,000 souls on a stupid fucking death. Yeah, thank you. Zero souls. Appreciate it. Can you fucking kill this thing now, please? garbage. Yeah, couldn't do that the last fucking time. God damn it. I mean, I'm never gonna get to a fucking... a decent level in this game. It's just not gonna happen. Every time I fucking think I'm getting my souls back, I have to fucking die. With nothing. Well, the only good thing is that now it's fucking one-on-one -on -one with this dick. Fucking fire sage prick. So anyway, I was trying to download the... Uh, oh, I'm shooting the guy behind him. I want to shoot you. I was trying to download the, um, the Halo 5 multiplayer beta. And the thing is ta was taking like over an hour. And I'm like, uh, yeah, this is the Xbox One, isn't it? In the internet connection, supposed to be faster than this, was three gigs. I could upload three gigs in like... In less than an hour. Now, you know what? I want fucking something close and personal with you, you fuck. Oh, that was a whole lot of swinging. Oh, just fucking get croak, you bitch. Ah, oh, Jesus God. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how... Well, then again, I should be used to it by now. I fucking keep doing it. With this character, anyway. To, so that you know, I mean, like I've said before, I have never had a problem with this Fire Sage boss fight. Especially not after I was able to figure out how to defeat... You know, I mean, yeah, this one jumps more than... Well, jumps, period. The, the Stray Demon doesn't jump at all. But... You know, the Stray Demon would basically allow you to just get behind it and slash it up the ass a few hundred times. Whereas this one is kind of clever. But I have never had anywhere near this much trouble with the Fire Sage. And it's funny too because there were a couple of boss fights that I did have trouble with that I had no, no trouble with at all with this character. That was stupid of you. I mean, it depends on what happens with... I keep forgetting, fucking forgetting that. Depends on what happens with this boss fight. Uh, I'm not even going to try to get these souls back. They're gone forever. They're like Clementine. They were lost and gone forever. Come on, where are you? Oh. Oh, fuck me. Come on, shit. I waste so much time fighting the same fucking bosses. And just trying to get to them. I mean, I can't even tell you, like, I've stopped recording when one boss fight was taking an hour. I can't even tell you how many times it's been happening lately. Yeah, big guy. Here we go. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. 
and you're dead. I am digging this Aito, though. It's pretty, pretty stellar. Considering where it started, I mean, I'm going to try to build up the Uchigatana the same way. I would like to get the washing pole, because it's so fucking much longer. Alright. Suck it. Okay. Here we go again. Now we don't have to worry about getting the... The souls, so we can just fight this thing one-on-one -on -one with no prior problem. And that was your first mistake. I would suggest going to the left here. A left, a, a left. I mean... There's too many fucking branches. Yeah, let him keep doing that. I mean, you do want to get behind it. What I want to do is I want to get away from this spot. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get too close to that. It will hurt. Oh, boy. And the other one. Okay. you, I needed a drink. No, don't fly. Oh, he's bleeding. He is bleeding. He's a bleeding boy. Oh, come on. Suck you. Oh, that didn't hit at all, huh? Neither did that. Drink some flesh just for fun. Eh, his feet were jiggling. Ooh. Yeah, behind you. And finally, we got him. Yay. That didn't take too long now, did it? All right. We defeated. Don't know what that means. And what do we get? We get a humanity. We get a demon's catalyst. This is what I wanted to show you. Finally, I can. And we get 20,000 souls. Doesn't make up for what we lost, but that's quite all right. We're finally moving on. All right, now this is the way we were going before. This is the way we have to go. And I'm going to show you where this is going to lead us. But first, the Demon's Catalyst is a catalyst. It is not, where is it? It is not by any stretch of the imagination a sword. It is a catalyst. That's what the Demon was using. If you equip it, there it is. As you can see, it has, it has, uh, actually, let me equip it. Oh, hold on. Let me go here. Let me equip this just so you can take a look at it. It requires, well, we have all the requirements. It requires 12 strength, 10 dexterity, 10 um, intelligence. Now, if you equip it, you can cast spells, which we don't have any right now. But if you hit the strong button, it's, it's a weapon. And if you double hand it, it's still a weapon. So, I think, yeah, we can't do anything with it. All right, anyway. So yeah, it could be used as a weapon. It doesn't do all that area of effect shit, but that was basically... No, not the Uchigatana. Where is my weapon? Aito, plus 15. There we go. But if you, um... If you, uh... Are casting spells, a spellcaster, if you will... Yeah, this place is filled with these guys. Now, the way we want to go is down there. But actually, let me drink some flask. The way we want to go is down there, but I'm going to show you a little bit the short that got the... If you go up this way, you'll notice that there is an elevator. First, you'll notice that there are a lot of these statues. 
and I didn't want to do that, but I got away with it. Oh, come on. That's not what I did. Let's just keep it like this. <laughs> You'll notice that up here... Hello, gents. There's actually a bunch. If you, if you can get this right... Oh, shit. You could get... If you have a big enough weapon, you can get both of them at the same time. And behind this creature... Please move. Eels. So, all of a brave warrior. Like I said, we basically got all the important items and shit. So, we're only going to get, like, soul items now. But if you go all the way up here, after all of that, if you go all the way up here, you'll notice that there is an elevator-looking thing. And down here is a long... Is nothing. Oh, I thought it was a long drop. I think it's over here. One of these is a long drop down. Or but anyway. This is an elevator that looks familiar because... Oh yeah, that's it. This is the long drop. Don't go down there. Oh wait, that's... That's okay. Anyway, anyway. This is an elevator. That'll take you up. And if you're saying, hey, that elevator looks familiar. Quaylag's Domain. Yes, it's that elevator. How'd it go down there? I have no idea, but now we can use it. So now if we want, we can go back up. And we can go to the... The bonfire by Quaylag. I am not going to be doing that. I'm going to be going down this way. Actually, wait a minute. I want to see something. This is the way we're supposed to go, but... No, that's not the way we're supposed to go. That is a drop. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to have to go all the way back down. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to go all the way back down. Well, actually, let's go all the way back down and just see what's down there, because I keep forgetting. So the Fire Sage, if you have a good amount of, of endurance, if you have a shield that blocks 100%, you can take all the physical strikes from it. It's a little bit trickier because it keeps flying away, or, but you could still destroy it pretty quick if you know what you're doing. All right, so down here. Right, okay, so this is the... Okay, this is where we want to go. This is a bonfire, and it's going to lead us down there to the next boss fight. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Ooh, I have no double humanity. That sucks. I'm going to kindle this bitch. I'm going to have to use up a lot of humanity. Uh, let's not kindle it all the way. Let's just, let's just kindle it once. Let's get our humanity back. Let's just kindle it once because we're only going to really need 10 Estus Flask uses until we get to the next bonfire where we are going to... Because the next one is the Lost Islith. Now let's repair our equipment. Not you. You. And this, and this. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm just trying to think of something. Um, I do want to complete the side quest involving... Siegfried, Siegfried, whatever his name is. That is going to require us to return... Where's that item? That's going to require us to return to the Duke's Archives. There it is. It's over Brave Warrior. The Duke's Archives we're going to have to return to, and we're going to have to fight that Golden Golem thing that has captured a specific potion. Okay, we don't want to fall down that way. We want to, f want to drop down here. And I did um, actually um, roll. Thank you. I did roll. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to go down here. And like I said, this is the next boss fight. Oh, let's just make sure there's nothing back here. I don't think there is. 
All right, this next boss fight is pretty interesting. If you notice these branches, these trees, they all look like some kind of... Weeping something or other. Now here is the summon sign of our good friend Solaire. He's back. But we're not going to summon him. He actually can already use the ring that we're going to get from this creature. It's a, uh, it's a ring that helps you walk on lava. And I'll show you why we're going to need that. We need it because the whole place is lava. Okay, folks, you're about to witness the centipede demon. The centipede demon can kill you quick. The centipede demon can kill you long. The centipede kill demon could not kill you at all. It depends on whether or not you are going to face him when you're trying to block with your shield, which I did. You, you, you got to look at You got to look at him. You know, you got to look at him. See, this is the problem with the centipede demon. There are two problems with the centipede demon. The first problem is the fact that you can't really... Put your um, put your lock on on the creature, in which case the creature just consistently whoops you from ten miles away. What you want to do with the centipede demon is you want to get right up in its business. It seems like that's a recurring theme, and it is. Most of the enemies only have like I don't want to say ranged attacks, but they only have attacks that are best suited when they're far away from you. This is one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get as close as we possibly can right away. Which is like right here. Again, the lock on. Again, the lock on. If you would lock on. Okay. Now, we want to get up close on this bitch. And what it does is it does shit like that. But when you get close enough... You can then just whack at it. Now it does do a thing. You see that interior? Now watch out when it starts running because it's going to do that. You see that like stomach or whatever? But when it does that, it does leave itself vulnerable. That underbelly is actually... See, it can't hit you when it does that. That underbelly can actually... That underbelly can actually pick you up and eat you. But strangely enough, the underbelly doesn't do that much damage. It's, it's weird. Like I said, this is where you want to be. And you want to stay away from the lava! Fucking thing, man! By the way, the lava does a lot of damage to your equipment. So don't get on don't get on the outside of that thing. Stay on the inside of it because if you stay if you go on the outside, it'll just it'll do that. It'll block you from going from staying on these little islands that you have. For me, I mean you can block that that long that long jab that it does with the centipede thing. You can block it, but no I can't. So I got to just dodge. I don't know why I can't block that. <laughs> <laughs> Go, let me, how many souls get all the way over here? See, this one is not a big deal, and it gets it closer. You want to be right up in it, because then it's not going to do any damage whatsoever. Still hit me, huh? That's its strongest attack, really. But like I said, if you can, if you can avoid that hitting you, like that right there, like I avoided that hitting me. Oh, here it goes. It's gonna, it's gonna put it 
in its yeah. Oh shit, I can't fucking see where I am. Get off the fucking lava! God, you fucking asshole! That's the only reason why this boss fight fucking sucks, because you can't see anything. You just like whack helplessly, and there's no room for anywhere. If there, if there was like a little bit more room, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But because there's no room, and you can't, you keep landing on the goddamn lava, and you can't see where you're going, it just becomes a lot worse than it needs to be. Fuck. All right. Let's see how many times it's gonna take me to beat this boss. This is the fourth attempt. The only good thing is that all I gotta do is make a, is run straight into the goddamn boss fight area. All right. Where are my fucking souls? You no get the fucking souls. Then. All right. Get off the lava. Fucking shit. Yeah, come on. Stay right there. Jesus, I'm not even hitting it. Lead it! Lead it! I mean, I can't even see shit. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even hitting the goddamn thing. I mean, I don't even know what the hell I'm hitting at. All I know is... I'm just swinging and just hoping it's dead. And it is! Yay! We killed it! Alright, nice. <laughs> and you know the best part is you only get a thousand souls for that. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, so we got a humanity, we got a homeward bone, we got a thousand souls, and we got an orange charred ring. Oh, wait, we got 40,000 souls. What the hell would the a thousand souls for? Nice. Okay, anyway. The orange charred ring, instead of this crap, I'm going to use this. Let me show you what it does, if I can find it. Okay, orange charred ring. Reduces lava damage, and I mean by a lot. You saw how quick and easy it was for us to die? Now watch. See? You barely even know I lost any health there. So now we go over here to this cave, this tunnel area. And we will find our friend... Mr. Solaire! Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Mr. Solaire has gone crazy. Why? Why? Yeah, he basically is going hollow right now. So I'm going to light this bonfire. I am going to rest at this but Actually, I'm going to level up. So let's... Let's equip some of our soul item. We got a bunch of these. Well, we not not maybe not that many, but we got enough. And that's it. Let's pop these. I'm probably only only be able to level up like three times. You can't use the uh, the big souls. Those you're going to need to empower the Lord Vessels so you can open up the way to Lord Gwyn. So, uh, yeah, probably about two level ups, maybe. Now, let's see. No! Oh, we do have... Well, okay, that's not bad. 
All right. Now, the one thing you do have to do is you have to repair your equipment a lot here. Don't forget that. Your armor sets have to be repaired a lot. All right. Lost Islith. Here we go. This area is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Still can't do it. Shit. It's pretty interesting in the sense that, first off, it's just lava and a bunch of branches. Now, the lava we can walk on with very little effort, very little problem. Go up this branch. It's not a, a, not a vast land. It's really not. It's pretty much this, a couple of towers. I mean, if you don't really want to go through everything, I'm going to go through as much as I possibly can. If you don't want to go through everything, it's not a big deal. But if you look here, you'll notice that this place is covered with the lower halves of undead dragons. It's a very strange enemy. And the, the strangeness of the enemy is that it can actually see you and attack you. Now, I have defeated them before. They're 3,000 souls per defeat. It's not worth it at all. Not worth it at all. But let's get this little item here. Nope, didn't want to do that. Solve a brave warrior. Now, what we want to do is we want to get out of the lava. What we want to do is we want to go up this branch. Uh, can you please stay on the branch, sir? Thank you. Now, we want to go back the way we were going before. We want to get up this tower. Actually, this is the way... Please stay on the fucking branch. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna totally kindle the next bonfire, so don't worry about it. All right. Uh. So we want to get to that tower area. The way to do that is on this branch. We go around here. Oh, for sure. Problem is, I can't really determine what is and what isn't a branch. Now be careful because these these dragon things can start stomping on you. So we run over here. And we notice that there is an item, Silver Brave Warrior. Now this is the first tower. This tower is not the one we need. Hello. Goodbye. This is not an illusory wall. Not this either. Not this either. And not the. This is a chest, but this is not what we're looking for. And if you want a test, you can just hit, but it's it's a chest. And in this chest is solve a great hero. Oh shit. You know what I hate? I hate when there's an enemy right in front of me or right behind me and I can't lock on. So instead I just kind of do nothing. All right. So now from here we want to go to look at that dragon ass. We want to go to where are you? The next tower, where is it? It's actually over there. Alright, it's with all this dragon ass. So you climb up this branch. Go all the way up. And... Then from here, you can drop down. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. But anyway, that's not it. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, I can only, I only have to, oh, okay. They have, like, no hit points. So that's not it. This is it. Alright, illusory wall, bonfire. Right, so let's get all my... Humanity. Gonna need four. 
which sucks. <laughs> Don't want to use all my humanity. So yeah, so I'm trying to download the... Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to download the... What do you call? The beta, the... The... the um, yes, thank you. The... And, I mean, it's taking forever. It took over an hour and 40 minutes. I didn't realize if I knew, I, if I knew about it, because I'm putting together the uh, year-end in review thing, and I can't seem to get the videos that I need the most, which sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But, all right, so now that we've kindled it, let's use some souls to repair the equipment. See, look at that. Shit's breaking down big time. Do I have... Let me see. Can I... I have no Titanite shards. Damn it. Alright. Let me look. Yeah, we're doing okay. Alright, so from here, we want to go there. Now, I do believe we can go up to the top and get that other item. And you know what? Let's try that. The only way to get back up there is to run out here. Which, as you can see, is not really a good idea. Now, I guess these undead dragon things only really react to sound because they're not coming after me. At all. Which is good. Which is good. I'm not complaining. Trust me. Alright, so let's get this item. Twin Humanities! Oh, I could have used that about a minute ago. Alright, anyway, well, at least we got him now. Let's go back down. Let's go back to the bin fear. Nope, didn't want to do it that way again. Aha! Get out of here. Right, where are you? Where are you, meat bat sack? Oh, where'd you go? There you are. So one slash and you're done. Alright, so let's go back to the bonfire now that we got our twin humanities. Oh, it's coming for me. It must have seen me or something. Let's go back here. Let's repair our equipment. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me see some. Nah, I don't have any tight. Somebody wants to be summoned. Ooh, that's... Oh, man, that's nice. Alright, so from here, it's straight shot. Right towards this. Branch. Go. And now we run up and around here. I've done this so many fucking times. It's like... This is not... There's no... No confusion for me. This. This is... I totally know what to do here. <laughs> I've done it a million times. Alright. Now. Let's drink a little flasky. Okay. We're gonna be bombarded by... These statue things. So the first one's going to be right here. Hello. And here's another one. Hello. Uh, then there's going to be... This one's going to come get us. There's one right around this corner here. Hello. Right, now this one's coming. Uh, you know what? This is better because I get more souls. Well, maybe I don't. Okay. Just made no, I do. Alright. I want more souls. I mean, it takes longer to unfold, but... The 60 souls... Yeah, you know what? Let's get... Nah. Plus, this doesn't get blocked by this, the ceiling or anything. 
All, like I said, all these things give you a souls. These things don't give you any items, they don't give you any humanity, they don't give you anything but souls. We got a few more coming. One here. Actually, let's get both. And one there. There are 13 in all. 13 of these things in this area all together. 13. So if you die... Is that 360? Yeah! If you die and you can get your souls back, you're going to get a lot more in return. Alright, now up here is a new kind of enemy. It's this weird 10,000 eyed thing. It's just bizarre. It spits at you. It eats you. It's, it's terrible. But if it does its spit, it gives you an opportunity to whack at it. Two whacks and it's dead. It's pretty easy kill, but it drops a lot of red titanite chunks. So I'll look out for that. Now, from here we've got a few different spots we can go. We can go up here or we can go down here. And before we do anything, we're going to go over here so we can get a couple items that we missed. Now, these are a little difficult to get. <clears throat> well, maybe not that one. That one's easy. This one, just carefully drop here. And you pick it up. Oh, before you breathe. It is the soul of a hero. And now, this one's really difficult. This one is tough. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. This one is tough because it's on a... You see that? It's like... It's a decline. And it's... It's a declination and it is... A very narrow ledge. So you gotta just... Carefully... Carefully... Inch off, inch off... And pick it up. Ring of Rare Sacrifice. Now we can... Drop down. Let me see something. Still not doing it. It can't be because of my armor. How's my weight load doing? I'm at 15, 67. Eh. I guess I can get... I'm just going to get the dexterity up maybe one or two more times. And then uh, it's just going to be vitality and endurance. Maybe one strength. Excuse me. Okay. Pardon me again. Alright, now that we got all the items there, we are going to... How am I doing with time? Ooh, I'm doing well. We're going to go down this way. This very hard spot here. There are a lot more of these things. Um, let's drop down here. Oh, yeah. Double kill. Pop. Slam. Double checking that there's nobody sneaking behind. We kill about eight or nine more of these things here. And. Ooh. Almost got me. And then there are two ways to go. Don't look at that item yet. We're not going there yet. Now. Now, if we go up here, this is going to be without a shadow of a doubt. Except if you fought two at a time in the Incense Fortress, this is the hardest Titanite demon fight you'll ever have. And the reason why is you have no room at all. It has seen me already. Let's try to get behind this branch. I do not want to fight this thing. Fairly. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Fuck it. Alright, anyway. I do not want to fight this thing fairly. So let's try to pick it off. Well, it ain't gonna happen here. Oop. 
Trust me, you do not want to fight this thing up close. Not in this spot. Eh. Whoa. That was weird. Just keep doing that, dick. And this is where the tree branches actually help you. So this might take an hour and a half, but trust me, it's more than well, well it's more than worth the effort. It's better than dealing with Is this going to hit me? Yes, it will. Out. So I do got to move out of the way of that. What you don't want is you don't want this thing leaping at you. Fill it with arrows. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but I don't give a fuck. I'm, I've died enough in this game. I don't need to keep dying anymore. Because like I said, you have no room to maneuver at all. Well, it looks like it's getting closer to us. But it's taking a sweet ass time, so fuck it. <laughs> now it's in leaping distance. Move back a little bit more. <laughs> Get behind this branch. Can't hit you from here. And now we are what at what we call an unfair advantage. <coughs> Pardon me. We're doing as much damage as we possibly can with these arrows. It can't do any damage to us. This is something that bent in our favor because we're smart. And if we hit it in the head that doesn't exist, we're even better off. Now, slowly but surely, we are whittling this thing down to nothing. If I had a better shield, if I had more endurance, I would definitely go for it. I've died so many times fighting this thing because it just, it, it gets you. It just gets you off guard. You have no, like I said, you have no room to maneuver. If I were using, if I could use some spells, it'd be a different story, maybe. In fact, I should probably attune my magic. I do have a spot, or a slot. At this point, trying to be the perfect ninja is kind of out the window. It's just a matter of survival. I do think that there should be more unfair advantages in our favor, considering we're all by ourselves here. Oh, well, that's not good. But I'm going to kill this thing, and then I'm going to stop for now, and we'll get back to the rest of the Lost Islet, which isn't much more. It's... It's a side quest, it's getting back up to the top, it's killing a bitch, and then it's, um, it's the, the infamous boss fight. Then after this, we're gonna get to, I'm gonna finish that side quest. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ex extend it further. Come on, why am I doing no damage now? Is it because the bow is like broken? <laughs> what are you cowering back?
Oh, it sucks being you. Just stay there. I mean, I could go in there and finish him off, but... I don't want to take any chances. I'm sure you're finding this extraordinarily intriguing. I'm sure you've said to yourself at least 10,000 occasions, oh, if I can only watch somebody shoot a Titanite demon for fucking 16 straight hours. How many arrows have I filled in this thing? Nah, you know what? Let's not be stupid. You see what I'm saying? See how much health this thing has? Oh, that hit. Stupid lightning. You can actually get its catch pole. It's called a catch pole. It's, uh, it's a really... If you amp that thing up, it's a really, like, overpowering weapon. Look at how many arrows this thing has sticking out of its face. You're not dead yet, man? Come on. I must have shot at least 200 hours. Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. So we get 5,000 souls for that fiasco. And we get two Demon Titanite. Now, if we go over here, I don't think there's anything here. But you're never too sure. So just, oh, yeah, you know what there is. There is a crystal lizard. Come here, you little fuck. There we go. Later. And we got red titanite and... Oh, that's right. Forgot about this. Got red titanite and we've got... Um, twinkling titanite. Now, this is where we wanted to go. These maggots, one of them will give you a helmet. But, you see, Solaire is here as well. Solaire is not to be trifled with. But then again, neither are we. Oops. My very own son. I am... You can parry him. And he's dead already. All right. So what we get out of him... Dark. So dark. We get a weird statement. And we have get two humanity. His sunlight straight sword, his sunlight shield, and his sunlight talisman... Is also his armor set. So we get the whole Solaire armor set. Don't want it, don't need it. Now, this is what killed him. This is why he sucks. We kill this one and we get a helmet that looks just like it. That gives us a whole lot of light. That's what we're going to need. Oh, this one. Here we go. Now, Sunlight Maggot. Now, this is these are the doors that we can now open. Now, if you were the... So now we have a shortcut back to the demon room. If you were the... If you were in that covenant I was telling you about, then that would already be open and you could save Solaire, but we're not. And what we got is something that we're going to use when we get to the... Um, the... What do you call? The Tomb of the Giants. And that's why. Because look at all that light it produces. That's why I saved that place for last. Or second to last in this game. But as for now, I'm going to be right back, so please, eh, stay for a little bit, why don't you, okay?